Hey guys, it's Reaper here back with another video. Now today I am doing a tutorial on how to draw eyes. Now the real reason is because uh, I actually have a lot of homework and I have to study for a test tomorrow. Or actually four tests tomorrow. But um, yeah, so I just wanted to get a quick video out and uh, get this over with. Um, now I'm going to tell you that the way I'm going to be drawing the eyes in this video might change later on and it's because I don't have a real way of drawing eyes. I, I, I'm still experimenting of like with uh, how to draw things and the layer styles and all that stuff. So um, yeah, that, that's pretty much it. Um, so getting into this tutorial, eyes can be any shape, any size. Um, as long as they kind of make sense, as long as they resonate with the face and it looks like it fits. And if it doesn't, then you should probably change it. If you don't want to change it, it's alright, but, um, you sh I'm just saying you should probably change it if it doesn't fit with the face or if it doesn't look right. Um, so eyes could be circle, they could be circle like this they could be I don't know kind of like a trapezoid type of shape like this there you go they could be more of like a football shape let's see uh, like this yeah they could be like that and they could be a uh, parallelogram which is uh, what most what a lot of anime eyes for males would kind of look like so uh, yeah and there you go and uh, of course you have to have eyelashes as well um, so yeah if it's a girl if it's a guy you don't really want much eyelashes maybe like a kind of stroke um, like that, and then, yeah, maybe, yeah, that, that might just be it, just like a little stroke through the thing, and if you're just doing eyes like this, you might not even need anything for a circle, but if you do, I don't know, something like that, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, eyes can be any different shape, any shape you want, so, eyes, when you're drawing cartoon eyes, uh, and you want to draw a female's eye. Uh, you could mo usually, if you want like a more cartoonish look, you would use a circle or whatever, making a look at somewhere, and uh, you would use some eyelashes, I guess, for girls, and you would have that little stroke as well. There you go. So something like that. Um, eyelashes. So yeah, uh, but if you're going to go more into like a Disney type of eye or a, I don't know, a, a, a cartoony but not too cartoony type of eye, you would want to use the football shape. So this would be kind of it here where it'd be like this. Uh, this would be where the part of the eye is. And this would be the eye. So there's that. And so shading the eye, let's get into that. Um, when you shade the eye, you want to have the skin tone first, of course. Uh, so let's just get a skin tone type of, type of color. Yeah. Too orange. Here, here we go. All right. Let's just get a color like that, all right? Then we want to have white underneath. So we want to turn off, turn down the opacity for that layer, this layer right here. And we want to have like a whitish color underneath. And this is just the way I do it. People do it differently. So you might be watching like a different tutorial and be like, whoa, why does Reaper do it that way then? You know? So yeah. And something that I feel is easier is when you outline the outside first so if I can get this right here 
Uh, something I feel is easier is if you outline the outside first, you can color the inside faster. And I just broke one of my rules here. Uh, see how the spacing actually has like a little bit of bumps here? Um, you want to turn that, that down. So, if I actually wanted to fix it a bit, let's see, I could do this and redo the bottom of this. The side, I don't think the side really matters much right now. So, I think the side's good for now. But the bottom here, we'll need to fix. There you go. So now that we have that, the shape's still not as good as I hoped, but uh, let's just try to get the bottom round. And, oops. Alright, there you go. That's good enough. Um, so we want to put a layer over it, and then we want to start kind of shading the eye so um let's just choose the color blue i guess so if we had the color blue i would pick a really dark type of color and then i would put it right down and uh by the way i clipped oh, oops so here let me just erase this real quick all right so what I did was I made a new layer and then I alt and click it <laughs> click it clicked it <laughs> yeah I'm sorry um, so I, I, I alt and clicked it and that's why I am not going out of lines so like that and then you would put in the color there you go and yeah there so now that you have the color you're you're like whoa why is it so dark um well we're, we're gonna try to go lighter and this is actually not something you'd usually do in traditional drawing on paper because when you draw on paper usually you'd go from light to dark but right here we're gonna go from dark to light so right now we're just gonna define our pupil. We're actually gonna make another layer under it real quick. And then we're gonna go to a lighter color. And then we're gonna just brush right over it. Like that. And you might want some up here. And so what you do is you go to the uh, you go to the the blur tool right here and you just do this all right so you just take your brush you're going to bring it up to uh like a around 60 50 60 something somewhere near that so uh, I'll, I'll, I'll do 62 and um brush down and upwards like that so it makes a random type of uh, pattern <laughs> And you don't want it to go outside the border, so try to push it inwards a bit. And also push it outwards. So basically just brushing up and down. There you go. And that one went outwards. Just push it back in. <laughs> so uh, yeah, just like that. And you want it to look really organic. And there you go. Really, um... You want it to look really random and not like it's just been drawn, <laughs> um, which is what we're doing, but it's just, you want to make it look more realistic. So that's why you do that. And the ones up here, you can just do the same if you want. I don't know why I put it up here. Just, and as, I, as I'm saying, I'm, I'm still experimenting. So the stuff I'm doing right here, uh, I might change later on, so, yeah. And then I make a new layer on top. And we're gonna choose a lighter color now. Uh, more to this side. And just put it right, oops. Right 
here. And I, I might actually try something really new on this because uh, a moment earlier, or a few minutes earlier, I just started uh, searching up reference images for eyes and I noticed something. And if I were to just bam and bam. Alright. Oops. Alright. So that let's get some right here a little bit right there all right go for it and right here there you go all right now let's try something we want to try to change the color mode and see if it could make a kind of light color huh something like that might be good okay Color dodge is good for sure. Alright. What if we put it to normal though? Okay, normal is like that. Color dodge is like that. Ooh, color dodge add. Okay. And messing with this, I think color dodge might be the best. So, going to color dodge. Going back to color dodge. There we go. We want to go to color dodge and we want to turn it down. So I'm just, right now, since I'm trying something new, I'm just going to eyeball it real quick. Um, so yeah, now we have that. And then what we want to do is add another, another layer on top and choose a lighter color. And bam, brush it right over. And uh, you might guess what we're going to do. We're just going to do it again. So. Um, this time I might use a smaller brush or something. There we go. There we go. And this as well. There you go. So now it looks a bit better. And I guess what we want to do is, since eyes don't, they don't always look perfect like this with like a ring around it, we want to get some more dark spots. So we want to make a new layer, as I have already done, and we want to get some dark spots around here. And do the same thing. Brush it, brush it, brush this, brush that, brush this, uh, brush this, and let's see, huh, looking better. So there we go, and make a new layer, and right here, we're gonna get a really little brush or a really small brush. Oops. And right there. We're gonna do that. There you go. Finish it off. And then, as you guessed, or as you may have guessed, oh, we're gonna run it through. Bam, 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 bam. bam. <laughs> so, yeah. Now we kind of got a, a more realistic type of eye. Uh, oh yeah, and by the way, you can turn the sketch off by now. Um, I don't think you really need it much. Um, so now we have that, and it makes it a lot more realistic knowing that it, uh, it's like this. And it's not perfect, it's more random and uh, yeah. <laughs> so we still have this black layer on top and what we want to do is we want to spread the black as well so if you haven't guessed uh, we're gonna do the same thing and just pull this out and pull it around in a circle and some spots you want to pull more than the other so it might look like like that Bam. Bam. There we go. Oh. Crazy. Alright. And now we have that. 
so what we want to do now is the highlights and so what we do is we want to get a really light pen and we're gonna draw like little lines here these little details little but the details are, they make it look better like just the littlest details make an eye look better and um, so yeah there you go we kind of got the eye eye kind of has like a shine on it and eyes are 3d so yeah um, let's see oh and uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know if I've told you guys this. I'm just going to make a new layer. I don't know why. It's like everything new I make, I always want a new layer for it. So eyes are actually 3D. So if a light was going to hit, if light was going to hit from up there, what you would do is have it like this. So something like that. Cause eyes hit like that, but I don't know why. I just like drawing a circle. Uh, I mean, I guess now I can just draw a circle like that, and then draw something like that. Uh, a little glow on the other side, and then also uh, you could draw like a little thing right here little line coming in, in. kind of like a glare so uh, let's see Ugh, like that that's what I usually do I don't know just a type of like anime style type of thing oops I can't draw it it's like it takes a while <laughs> and then just draw a little little glares going down just for that extra detail because you know eyes we're not trying to draw like a really real eye we're trying to draw like a kind of fantasy type of realistic, semi-realistic, I don't know, stuff like that. Then take a white and just like pour it over or something, uh, something like that. There. It'll make it a bit better. <laughs> what am I saying? It'll make it a bit better. There you go. So yeah, now we have the eye and we want to shade the eye white so what we would do just bam just like pour out some gray onto it uh, there we go got some gray get some darker grays uh, there and uh, all we want to do is use the blur tool pretty much oh not the blur tool what am I saying use a smudge tool um, so yeah, the whole time we've been using a smudge show, by the way. And so, all we do is we bring the strength down, and bam. So it's not looking too good yet. Still in progress. So, put that right there, smudge tool. And then, da 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 da, we want to go through the layer modes. Okay. All right, and s s s where is it? Multiply seems to work the best. So let's just use a bit more, bit more uh, shading on this. All right. Oops, my bad. So let's see. What if we put a bit of white? Huh. Okay. Yeah, we could probably clean this up with a bit of white. So yeah, uh, we put white. Just faded away a bit. Yeah, helps it out and uh, yeah so now we have that and we want the eyelashes because <laughs> as of right now it kind of 
doesn't look like the actual eye. So yeah, you, you just get the color black or whatever color you kind of want. Just as long as it's a really, or a dark color, pretty much. Just show the eyelash, you know. Oh, oh yeah, but uh, yeah, you, you, you don't want a clipping mask that. I, I was like, why am I getting so much, I don't know. I was like, why am I getting perfect lines? I never do. <laughs> Especially recording as well. And then, yeah, so uh, you just do whatever it takes. Erase and draw and yeah. So here we go. Gonna be a big eyelash here. And if you want to shade the eyelash, you can too. It's just an extra detail. Um, like anything you want to do, you can do to it. Uh, this is my type of style of eyes, but I mean, you guys can always use it. Uh, feel free to copy my style and uh, eventually make your own style. So, yeah. Um, but. So this is how you would draw it. You would draw that. Like maybe some eyelashes coming out. Oops, my bad. Okay, so maybe I'm not the best with <laughs> eyelashes. So yeah, uh, just draw that. Draw whatever you'd like. So here we go. So yeah, um, I, I really don't know how to draw eyelashes that well, so uh, my bad if I if it doesn't look as good as uh, you thought it would. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we could we could always decorate the eyelashes, add whatever you guys would like, and if you want to, let's do it. Uh, all we have to do is add a little highlight to the eyelashes. So, yeah. There you go. Add like a little line. There. There you go. And yeah. So now, we have a little highlight on the eyelashes, and we're done. So yeah, uh, that's what you can do, and you can also add highlights over here, something like that. So yeah, that's how you draw an eye, and if you were to draw a male eye, you wouldn't decorate the eyelashes that much. Um, you wouldn't spend as much time on an eyelash or... Yeah, you would just, yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's how I do it. Uh, I don't know how you guys uh, would like to do it. You guys can do it your own style, but that's just how I do it. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like. Comment down below what you'd like to see next, and I will see you guys next time.